going to read chapter two of Junie B. Jones, Batman Sm Jingle Bells, Batman Smells, and so does May. Last time we read chapter one, and in chapter one, May and Junie B. got in an argument during class, and they had to be pulled out in the hallway by Mr. Scary. And he told them that if they couldn't get it together, they were going to miss the sing-along that they were going to be doing at the end of the day. Okay, so this chapter is called Jingle Hats. The rest of the morning we did arithmetic. Arithmetic is the school word for adding and taking away. Only I couldn't even concentrate on my numbers that good. On account of May kept giving me mean looks and flopping her sweater sleeve around. Junie stretched her sweater way out when they got into a fight over her journal. Pretty soon there was a knock at the door. Come in please, said room one. Mr. Scary taught us to say that, only I don't actually know why because people come in anyway. The door opened very slow. And ha, it was Mr. Toot, the music teacher. He was carrying a big brown box in his arms. It was dusty, I think, because when Mr. Toot plopped the box on the floor, Sheldon started to sneeze his head off. Sheldon is very allergic to dust particles. He is also allergic to hoagies and dairy products and nature. Ah, 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 ah. Chew, chew, a chew! Mr. Scary looked at him real panicked. Then he quick picked up a tissue box and he rushed it to Sheldon's desk. But Sheldon was already wiping his nose on his shirt sleeve. Ha <laughs> Beat you again, Mr. Scary, he said. I beat you at that race every time I sneeze. Mr. Scary closed his eyes. I have told you before, Sheldon, we are not racing, he said. Sheldon laughed. Then he threw his fist in the air and shouted, Sheldon Potts rules! Mr. Scary rolled his eyes. Then he moved the dusty box farther away from Sheldon's desk, and Mr. Toot lifted the lid. I stood up to look and wowie wow wow, guess what was in there? Elf clothes! That's what? So if you remember, when we were book detectives and we looked at the cover, Junie B, on the cover of our story, is dressed like an elf. There were little green elf hats and jingle bells on their ends. Plus also, there were cute elf vests and belts. Mr. Toot held them up for us to see. Boys and girls, our PTO made these costumes several years ago for our holiday sing-alongs, he said. Aren't they great? Every single first grader is going to get to wear one today. He started passing them out. My Richie friend Lucille got hers first. She looked at it and made a face. Okay, Number one, I don't wear this shade of green. And number two, I don't wear bell hats, she said. Mr. Scary looked up at the ceiling. Then he took Lucille by the hand and he walked her into the hall and she came back wearing her bell hat. Pretty soon, all of the rest of room one were wearing their bell hats too. We shook our heads. The bells jingled and jangled. Hey, this room sounds like a jingle bell sleigh, I said. Mr. Toot did a chuckle. You're right, Junie B. Every year, one lucky class gets to wear the jingle bell hats. And this year, because room one has been so well behaved in music class, I choose you. All of the children clapped and cheered, except not for Lucille. Instead, she threw her hands in the air and shouted, what are the odds? 
After that, she flopped her head on her desk, and she didn't come up again. Mr. Toot ignored her. She's not really being a very good sport, is she, boys and girls? And that's not any good news either, he said, because each, and that's not all my good news either, he said, because each year the class with the bell hats goes on stage and they lead the whole auditorium in singing. What do you think? What Christmas song might they be singing with bell hats? Jingle bells! Room one jumped up and down from our seats. Jingle bells, jingle bells, yay, yay, we're going to lead jingle bells. Mr. Toot smiled. Okay, everyone, just make sure that you know the words. We are going to have a short rehearsal, he said. Rehearsal, we shouted. Yay, rehearsal, yay. Only too bad for us because rehearsal was nothing to shout about. We sang that dumb song a jillion times. I bet. At first, it was kind of fun. Only then it got real boring. And so that's how come I started singing funny different words. Uh-oh. There were funny words about Batman and Robin. I bet everybody knows that version. Jingle bells, jingle bells, and then Batman smells, Robin laid an egg. You know that one? So she's probably going along those lines. Let's see. I sang them real loud so my friends could hear. Jingle bells, Batman smells, Robin laid an egg. Batmobile lost its wheel and Joker got away. Hey! Herbert and Lenny laughed and laughed. May did a gasp. <gasps> Then she sprang up like a spring and she started to tattle. Mr. Toot! Mr. Toot! Junie Jones is singing the wrong! I quick yanked her shirt. Can you believe she's yanking her shirt again? Don't you think she learned her lesson when she ruined her sweater? <laughs> May! Are you crazy? I whispered. You and I can't fight anymore. Remember that? If we ta if you tattletail on me, we'll be parking ourselves in principles. May covered her mouth with her hands. She sat down real fast. Oops, uh, never mind, she said to Mr. Toot. I wiped my worried forehead. Woo! That was a close one, I said. I saved our gooses. <laughs> there she goes again. Gooses is not a word. The word is geese. May leaned across the aisle. You did not save our gooses, Junie Jones, she said. I saved our gooses. I'm the one who didn't tattle. She pointed her finger at me. But you better not sing those bad words at the sing-along, she said. I mean it, Junie Jones. If you sing those bad words on stage, I will tell on you no matter what. I did a big breath. <sighs> Robin laid an egg is not bad words, May, I said. An egg is nothing for a bird to be ashamed of. <laughs> I don't care. It doesn't matter, she said. You already ruined enough today, Junie Jones. You ruined my sweater and you ruined my mood. But you're not going to ruin this sing-along too. She crossed her arms at me. Even if I get in trouble myself, I will still tell on you, she said. You can count on that, Junie Jones. After that, she leaned back in her chair and she brushed her hands together real smuggy. I looked and looked at that girl. 
May is off her rocker, I believe. All right, that was the end of chapter two. So in the next video, we will see what happens to the girls in chapter three. All right, see you later, kiddos. Thank you for listening.